Hello and welcome back to my channel Cab with Jordan. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to automatically generate a parts list for an assembly such as this one. As always make sure to check the link in the description. There is a course for sale there and I promise you it will help you a lot if you're just starting out with Inventor. Anyway let's get right into this. So if you're going to want to create a parts list then you need to have a drawing available. This is just my drawing border ready to go. What you need as well is an assembly. So make sure you have your assembly open and then come over to your drawing. Then you you can place down your base view and you can put this in whatever orientation you like whatever scale you like as long as all the different parts that make up the assembly are easily visible now what I tend to do is I will take all the line weights and just lower it and then I will add the color using that button there and that just gives me a nice visual of what the assembly is going to look like now for what you came here for if you come to the annotate section at the top of the screen you'll find the parts list button right here and it's actually quite simple you just click that and then click on the view. The view is this box here, this dotted, this dotted box around my assembly. Just click that and press OK. OK again and now I have a parts list and this can be manipulated by just grabbing the different edges and bringing it in together. You can make this however big or small that you like. And something else worth noting is that if you right click, or no, sorry, if you double click in, you can then right click on one of these headers here and select column chooser. Now you can add any of these from this long list here, or you can simply remove some by using the add and remove button right here. So I've just removed the description box and now you see my parts list is a lot smaller. So I'm just gonna line that up with the uh, corner of my drawing and bring it out. So now I have each of the parts that make up this assembly with a different number assigned to it including all the quantities. So we could use the balloon tool and manually place down our different balloons. You'll see this is two so that'll be our piston head. Or if you have a lot of different parts in your assembly you can select the drop down menu here and go to auto balloon. This works the same way as the parts list. You're just going to click on the view once again and then we're going to be highlighting all of the parts that are in it and then select the select placement button here and then we can either change the positions of these balloons to be horizontal or vertical or even around. So I'm just going to stick with the vertical for now and I'm just going to place them all off to the side like this and press OK. And there you go, I automatically have generated a parts list with some balloons that actually point out which part is what coinciding with the numbers within the parts list. So yeah, if you found this useful, please leave a like, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be great. If not, don't worry about it. Thank you very much for watching.